Okay, stop what you're doing and close your fist. Go on, trust me, I got you something infinite. Alright, look at your palm. Diagonal lines. You know what else isn't infinite? Take this series. One reaches infinity with infinite steps and one doesn't have. Let's play a game. I call it a, a football field. He seems to go to the infinity and let him do his thing. But this guy right here never surpasses one. It's limit. And if you're like me and you like pushing limits, calculus is very in-depth after defeating algebra. Uh, let's say humanity discovered football before pi. So to find area, we just put this inside a thing whose area is already defined. Here I go with triangles. Uh, let's go with Bruno's cardboard instead. Well, I'm taking hexagon of time. Uh, what other one this is? As we are getting closer to a better and better ball, I'm gonna give this ball some momentum. Say a substitute guy from a calculus class wanna save the shot. Considering the acceleration is not constant, he looks for a spot where he can have the least impact along this arch. He zoom 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 and tada, a flat line. You know what else you can do with flat lines? The space here is so tiny so the average between them is almost instantaneous at normal time scales. Let's keep throwing up some more lines. Hey look, rectangles. Okay, let's find its area. I mean all of it. Okay, who cares? Well, think of it this way. If this is sales chart, this is the total number of balls sold. 